Welcome back to another episode of DevNet Innovators at Cisco Live 2016 here in beautiful Las Vegas. I'm here with Albert Gallego from IR. Albert, tell us about IR. Sure, so IR, Makers of Prognosis, we're an Australian-based company. We've been around for about 26 years. Uh, we've spent the last 13 years monitoring uh, Cisco Call Manager, uh, all the rest of the unified communications, uh, components, contact center, all of those things. But actually, just recently, we've started to add support for the SDN controller using the APIC EM, which is, I think, what we're here to talk about today. Perfect. Well, tell us about Prognosis and how it uses APIC EM. Absolutely. So what we're doing now is we're integrating with the APIC EM so that Prognosis, which has always been able to monitor all your UC environment, your contact center environment, and constantly doing monitoring, detecting problems, right? Now we can detect maybe a Cisco telepresence video call starting to have poor latency. And so what we're able to do is once we've identified that that problem's happening, we can then work with the northbound APIs via APIC EM and then apply a dynamic QoS policy to that existing call in real time, and then watch and wait and see, does that policy um, application actually fix the problems that the video call's having? If it does, then we can validate that experience, which goes back into the overall Cisco DNA, the digital networking architecture, and then provide that, uh, that solution back, fix the call, and then when the call's over, send off a notification to the operations of the engineering team to let them know, hey, somebody managed to have a call that wasn't correctly marked in the network. So that you know really provides the ability to do this self-healing, which you know typically troubleshooting a live video call is very troubling or troublesome. Uh, it's very challenging with dynamic networking, uh, you know, uh, the different paths that a call can take. So by doing that automatically, a we're solving the problem in real time, but then also allowing you to know that there's a problem that maybe needs to be fixed in the environment itself. The other piece that we've started to do is. Uh, APIC EM, the SDN controller, gives us the ability to do path trace. And that gives us greater visibility of layer two and layer three of the actual call going through the environment. So we'll get uh, hop by hop call flow information and QS and performance metrics. So really uh, giving a much better visibility into the network, but also tying it and correlating it back to the calls themselves. So you really have this human to human visibility at a high level of what that user experience is, but also tying it back to the network layer. So really giving a very uh, holistic approach to the, whole, to, to the whole user experience, but allowing you to troubleshoot whatever part of the environment might be running into problems. That sounds great. It sounds like you're using um, APKM to d deliver real-world uh, solutions for IT problems today. So how have you used uh, DevNet to uh, build a solution out? Sure. So DevNet's been great because while we've been using a lot of the Cisco APIs for a very long time, DevNet uh, has done a great job in really coordinating and pulling all the APIs together. So now instead of having to ask, you know, three different product managers, you know, I can't find the documentation, can you send me some sample code? Now instead, I go to DevNet, uh, I think it's developer.cisco.com. Uh, I can find all the different APIs. Typically, I can find sample code. And then if there's something that I just want to start to tinker around with, I can go to the sandbox, and then now I don't have to build my own lab. I have access to all the kind of components, so I can really try things out, and it's a much uh, lower barrier to entry if I want to try to do new and innovative solutions. Oh, great. No, it sounds like DevNet's really helping you out. So there's a lot of, a lot of other ISVs here at Cisco Live this week. Uh, a lot of customers want to build their own integrations into APKM. What would you recommend to them to get started? Where should they go? Sure. So they, they should go to developer.cisco.com. From there, you can really find the sandbox pieces, all the different um, uh, APIs. I think they're separated by sort of uh, not product set, but solution set. So collaboration, which is generally where we are, networking, some of those things, uh, a very clean uh, um, breakdown of all the different APIs. Um, and then obviously you can always reach out to, to me or to IR. Uh, we're always happy to talk about the solution and how we uh, brought that to market and how we investigated it. So um, any way that we can help, please let us know. Uh, perfect. Well, thank you very much, Albert. I hope you enjoy the rest of the week here at Cisco Live.